I've put together the list. Hey guys, it's Jess from She's the Posh. Welcome back. And today we are going to go over my luxury wish list for 2021. Okay guys, it is that time of year where we go and we fantasize and I start actually thinking about what I want to add to my collection in 2021. And so when I was going through this, I feel like my collection, if you saw from my collection videos, is my handbag collection is really, really well. So I have about 36 handbags, so I've decided that's a really good number for me, plus my shelf is full and I don't have any more room. So if I add some of these handbag pieces, I'm going to have to sell and take something away from my current collection but these are pieces that i think will be a great addition and it might these might actually replace some of the bags that i currently have and i have to add some really fun luxe accessories jewelry and i have some pieces like that so let's go through here i don't have these in any particular order i just kind of was like thinking and i wrote these down i have a list on my computer right here so if you see me looking down that's what i'm doing so the first thing i thought of that i never thought i would like but they're a pretty good price point now and i think they would be very classic gorgeous piece to add to my collection that is a Celine Micro or a Nano Luggage bag. So those aren't as hyped, they're not as popular anymore, those luggage totes. So you can get them for a pretty affordable price point. I've seen some like around a thousand, a little over a thousand. They might need a little bit of work. I could take them to Leather Surgeons. And they normally retail close to, I want to say the, the Nano's over 2,000. And I think the luggage totes are close to 4,000 if you bought them brand new. But looking at those, I thought, you know, maybe adding a black one or the tri-color. I think that that would be such a sleek and sophisticated style. I never thought, I don't normally like top handles, but now that I have my Birkin, I realize that there, I can rock those because I don't overstuff my bags. I don't have to really worry about weight. And I feel like, especially in the winter time, wearing wearing coats and layers, that having a bigger bag kind of like balances it out. I don't normally wear smaller bags when I'm wearing big coats or scarves or things like that, I feel like a bigger bag kind of balances the outfit out. So yeah, if I can find one for a really good price, I'm not sure color, I am leaning towards black, maybe one of the tri-color, if I can find something for a great price. Another thing I added to the list is I would love to have an Hermes Constance bag, especially one of the vintage ones. I like it in the black and gold, and I also like them, with the back pocket. I kind of like the vintage that has the back pocket style, something that I can get either fixed up. I don't want to spend like $12,000, $16,000 for it. I'm hoping to find something like $3,000, $4,000 range. And if I do find something that I love, I think that will end up replacing my my Celine classic bag or box bag that I got in the Pink Lizard. I do love that bag, but I find myself I don't really carry it as much. I think it's because it's the pink lizard and I find it pair it with certain things. So I figure if I got a Constance, if I found something like that, that I would wear that more. So most likely that would replace my lean bag. I have no plans on getting rid of it yet, but I think if I do find something I, that's a very similar style. Another thing that I want to add is I want to add some more tribal, like your earrings. I like the new ones that came out. I saw like pictures of them posted with the CDs, some of the hoop ones that they have. I really enjoy those kinds of earrings. I never used to buy like Lux earrings, but I, I feel like for me, I do like costume jewelry and if I wear them a lot, they're simple, but yet they have a little bit of fun to them. Like the fact that with the tribal earrings that I can mix and match them. So I'm thinking about adding some more to my collection. You, I, that's just something I usually recommend buying brand new because on the secondhand market, tribal earrings are either at retail or more than retail. So something I would plan on buying brand new from Dior. So I'm excited to see what kind of pieces they come up with this spring and summer. Also on my list, if I could find it for a good price is I want to maybe add this spring or summer Fendi baguette in the leather with the FFs, like embossed in the leather, but in the bigger size. I was able to get the smaller mini Fendi baguettes. I got that on Jamba Shop for a great price. I got that for under, right around $1,500. 
which is a great price because they usually retail close to two thousand, and the brand new ones are over three thousand. Like the ones my size that I would like to get is over three thousand. I'm hoping that I can find one secondhand that I could just trade that bag for. I'd probably sell the mini bag and trade it for one of the Fendi baguettes, but I'd like to get it like the light blue, Tiffany blue color. I think that would be super fun to have for the spring and summer. Again, that's if I could find it for a great price and then I would just end up selling my one bag to put towards that so then it wouldn't be as expensive, but I wouldn't buy it brand new. I just think $3,000 for that is a pretty, it's a pretty steep price to pay but I do really love that leather and I'm so glad I got the mini so I could test it out. Accessories that I want to add, I would like to add a Balenciaga scarf. I really like the big oversized scarves. I always like to pair them with my jackets and everything. And if I could find one that's like the Balenciaga in the black and the white, I just think that would be a great addition to add, to throw over a coat, to be nice and cozy, fun ways to style it. I do like the Balenciaga scarf with either the big Balenciaga or just the little Balenciaga written through it in black and white. Two Dior bags I'm thinking about adding to my collection is I'm considering, but the prices are pretty high, but I'm considering getting the, the smaller Dior book totes and selling my regular Dior book totes. I do love that bag. I did get an insert for it, so it is a practical bag. However, I only really carry it in the spring and summer and it's a work bag, so I, I'll put my stuff in there and then I trade out, which is my Saint Laurent tote. So I trade that out and then I carry my other Dior book tote. So again, I haven't been going to work, going to the office as often. So I don't know if that would get much use this spring and summer. I'm not sure when things are gonna get back to normal, but I thought that if I got it in the smaller version, that that would be more like a handbag and that I would wear it more so I could sell my other one Put it towards that but i don't like that the prices for those small book totes are close to i mean they're close to three thousand dollars over two thousand dollars pretty expensive i think they're at 27 28 and if i got it in one of the embellished or seasoned prints which i think are very fun and cute i've also looked at the leather ones there's a pink leather one and maybe i will sell to put towards that just something that I think I would get more use out of than the current one I have. I do love it, but I wanna try, if I get something else to replace that, I don't wanna keep adding, I want to be more practical <laughs> with my purchases this year. Another thing I would like to add is maybe if I can find something for a good price, so just the Lady Dior, but like one of the embellished ones, maybe I could get one with some pretty beading, some cute, like I liked the ones that were like celestial and all that stuff. See what I can find in the secondhand markets. Those normally retail, you know, over $5,000, $6,000. Some of them are $4,000, depending if they're leather or canvas, but maybe I can find something in the $2,000 to $3,000 range and just something cute for my collection. I know it won't be something that I will wear all the time, but I just think it would be fun to have that in my collection as a beautiful showstopper, but only if I can find it for a decent price. And again, I would have to select some bags to sell to add that to my collection. But yeah, if I could find something gorgeous, I just think that those are like works of art and I'd love to add an art piece to my collection. The Prada boots that you have, the really cute Prada pouch to those nylon boots, those big heavy ones. But I did see them come up with one that was like a high top sneaker with the Prada pouches on there. I think that those boots and shoes are really cool and I love that you could take it off. And I think it'd be fun to like wear that those bags in other ways, maybe I could wear it like on my wrist, add it to other bags, add it to my belt. Like I do think that those shoes are over a thousand dollars, but I'm hoping that maybe in the spring and summer they'll come up with different styles of those boots. But right now I am lusting over it, but the price point is just way too high for me right now. So I'm gonna see how Prada brings those into other shoes. Maybe I can get one of the high tops or tennis shoes, or maybe they'll have like a more affordable boot. So we'll see. I'm gonna curious to see what product comes out with before I make any decisions. And last, I have, it's been growing on me. You know, I've been loving Bottega Veneta 2020. I bought two of their bags, but I am loving the Jody bag. I like it in the larger size and also in the mini size. Sometimes Jamba Shop will get those on sale. So I decided that if I could find one for a good deal, that's where I got my pouch bag that I got for $1,500 on Jamba Shop. And they do have a current style, which is like a, a caramel, like a dark caramel color on there for around that price point that I'll make sure to put down below. But if I can find one of those Jody bags, like in a fun color, I'm not real sure. I just know for me, when I see a bag, 
I don't make decisions until I see it, I love it, and then I can add it. And especially, I don't like paying full price, so most of these pieces I will get secondhand or I will get on sale. Because I figure if they don't work out for me, you know me, I will sell those bags, I will get rid of them, and then I will bring something else into my collection. I, If you see me with the trend bags, you might say, oh, you have so many trend bags, all that stuff, but I'm constantly selling and purging. And every year you'll see that new bags will come in and then when I do my collection video, old bags will go out. Like if you have questions on why I sell bags, but most of the time it's like, whatever I'm feeling, what am, what am I loving? What am I using? And that's why I love buying secondhand pre-love fashion because I get to enjoy things. Then I sell them and then I fund other things coming in because I feel like fashion should always be evolving and revolving. And by buying secondhand, you are helping the environment and your wallets. Okay, guys, that is my wish list. Let me know what you are considering down below. Do we have any of the same wish lists in common? Do you have any of these pieces that I'm lusting for? Should I get them? Do you love them? I'd be really curious to find out in the comments below. And as always, I want to thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you again. Bye, guys.